good morning everybody it's uh friday thank you lord so it's friday august 5th y'all can't believe it's august already um and yeah so i'm in the car i haven't done a car conversation in a while and i have to drop my dog off so i was like you know what let me just come on here and talk to you guys y'all i'm so glad it's friday i have a great weekend plan i am so excited um so yeah it's gonna be awesome so Anyway, I wanted to come on here and talk to you guys about your words. I don't know if I did a video about this, but if I did, it's been a while ago. So I wanted to come on here and talk to you guys about your words. Because I'm thinking I'm going to go on a no complaining challenge. I'm going to do a no complaining challenge. And I'm going to do it for seven days. If you want to join me, that would be awesome. But I'm really thinking about doing that challenge of no complaining. Because... I think we complain a lot, right? You know, everything in our life could be going good, but then we find stuff to complain about. And then you have people that it doesn't matter. Like, they just complain all the time, right? So, you're complaining. If you think about the children of Israel, they were complaining and murmuring so bad that God kept them in the wilderness for 40 years. And a lot of them did not even enter the promised land because God killed them because they were complaining so much. So your, your words have power, and then when you're complaining, that can keep your prayers hindered. Because God is like, why am I going to bless you, and all you do is complain all the time, right? So I, I'm going to do a no complaining challenge for seven days, and um, that means I'm going to have to be extremely careful with my words and watch myself because I don't complain a lot it might just be like if I'm having a bad day you know someone asks me I'm like oh my gosh I'm not having a good day because you know whatever whatever but I'm gonna have to change that I'm gonna have to just you know say oh it's good like everything's good right so I'm really thinking about doing that challenge I think it'd be great for me and I think it'd be great for you guys so you guys should join me so comment if you're gonna do it okay and um I'm probably gonna post on Instagram y'all so I can't say enough follow me on Instagram Jesus coffee underscore conversations okay but I wanted to so that's the complaining part <laughs> so I'm gonna talk about um your words shape your reality right um if you think about you know when God created the world there was nothing here right nothing formed until God spoke so when God said let there be light there was light when God said let there be you know the sun and the, the moon and the stars and you know, and all that stuff then that stuff came into formation right so we have the same power because we're created in the image and likeness of God so we have the same power to use our words to form shape our reality so a lot of people their reality is not the greatest because they're not speaking life they're speaking death life and death is in the power of the tongue okay so if you have you know if you've ever noticed somebody like for me i say a lot that i'm tired i'm so you know i'm tired i'm so tired whatever and i'm always tired because that's what i say so my body is like okay well we're here saying you're tired so now we're gonna add tired so you know somebody else might say oh well you know every time I turn around I got a bill every time I turn around I got to pay this every time, so every time like their money is just going 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 because that's what they're saying so you have to remember that your words have power I have the power to speak and things happen right now a lot of times it might not happen immediately and I think that's why people get in trouble because they're like oh well I said something but it didn't happen right then and there so they think okay well I'm good but no it could be a week later two weeks later it could be a month later a year later two years later whatever you said is going to happen it might not happen immediately but it's gonna happen some people it happens immediately okay so you have to be very very careful about what you speak and not just what you speak over yourself but what you say about others you know if you have children if you're always saying you kids get on my nerves or you kids always doing something 
guess what? They're gonna keep getting on your nerves and they're gonna keep doing stuff. So you have to be careful. And a lot of parents are cursing their children and they don't even realize it. So you really have to be mindful. And I understand it's hard because it's like, okay, well, what am I supposed to say instead? Don't say anything. Just keep your mouth shut. So instead of saying, oh, it's always something, or it's always a bill, it's always, it's just keep your mouth shut. And just say, Lord, I thank you that you're going to turn the situation around. Lord, I thank you that you always bless me, you know, with money to pay my bills. So you have to replace the words with positive words or don't say anything at all. Especially if you prayed for something, you can cancel out your prayer. And, and people don't realize that and that's why the Bible says my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because there's a lot it, like I said this in videos before it's not just saying a sinner's prayer and accepting and believing in Jesus that's not all being a Christian is there's a whole lot more <laughs> that people realize you got spiritual warfare you got to fight these demons and the devil and you have you know you got to be careful with your words and you have to like there you got to fast like there's a lot that goes with this and it's in God's word where he tells you um you know the, the Christian walk right how to how to how to have the relationship and stuff with him so people forget or don't know or don't understand that they have to be very careful about the words because when you pray for something a lot of times people are not getting what they prayed for one because they're complaining two because they're canceling out their prayer with their words so because you don't see it yet you start doubting and then you start speaking against what you just prayed for oh it ain't never gonna happen for me I guess it's just not meant to be I guess I'll just be like this forever like you just canceled out your prayer your prayer completely and then you also need to you know remember that angels they don't do what you tell them to do they're not listening to you they're not obedient to you they listen and obey and act on the word of God so you just telling them to go do something bring you this bring you that they're not listening to you they're not bringing you nothing because you're not speaking the word of God this is truck. I'm trying to get over and somebody's flying behind my tail and they just have to wait because I can't get over right now y'all I don't know why there's so much traffic out this morning I know it's Friday but still don't y'all need to be at work it's not o'clock but anyway, like I was saying, it's a lot of chat for y'all. I'm trying not to be like distracted, <laughs> but I got to get over it. And it's like, oh, these cars. You know what? Let me change my words. It's not going to be where I got to go. These cars are going to get about my way. And I still got to get over it. But I'm just going to get over it right now. Okay. So um, anyway, like I was saying, the angels don't listen to you. They listen to the word of God. So you have to speak the word of God to get them to act on your behalf okay and again they're not acting they're not being obedient to you and do not be praying to no angels because people do mess like that oh because some pastor told them you're supposed to pray to your angels you're supposed to talk to your angels and not no you're not because you can be entertaining demons they come as angels of light too you have to be extremely careful people you got to be careful so um, but anyway, with your words, like I was saying, try, you have to find other things to say that speak, speak what you want to see in your life. So if you, and I'm not talking, you know, we all want money and all that stuff, right? But if you like health, speak health to your body, you know, just, you know, body, you are supposed to function the way God created you to and then find scriptures that back up that where God talks about healing and you know all that stuff but you have to make sure you're living right too you gotta make sure you're living right um as well so your words are extremely important and you need to be careful who you are around because like I said people can speak negativity over you as well and you don't want to come into agreement with those words okay so even you just sitting there listening and entertaining it is kind of you coming into agreement with it because why are you gonna sit there and listen 
to what they're saying if it's contrary to what you want and what the Bible says, you know, that you're supposed to have and all this stuff, right? So you really just have to think about, okay, who am I around and what are they saying? And you're going to have to distance yourself or you might just have to change the conversation and just say, look, let's, let's talk about something else or, you know, something, find some way to end that conversation so that, you know, you're not entertaining like that negativity and you're not soaking up those negative words. Okay. So y'all, I just tell you, it's, and it's also a praying time. I don't know. I was going to do this in a separate video, but since I just watched it, I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys. So y'all pray. That's all I have to say. Pray and make sure you got your relationship with God solid because somebody sent me a video where they were doing bell worship. They were doing bell worship at, I don't know what kind of games it was. It's something over in uh, the United Kingdom. I don't know what they had. I don't know if it was like, one, it had to be one day this week. But it's some event they have, I can't remember. Some, it's almost like the Olympics, but it's not the Olympics, it's something else. But anyway, they were literally doing bell worship. So they like had like the stars falling, which were the fallen angels and the devil coming, you know, God casting them out of heaven. And then somebody picked up a crystal and they were like praying to the crystal. And then uh, the lady, she was on like this, um, this golden calf which is Belle, and she had, you know, like, she was like the woman in red and, and scarlet and purple that's, you know, in the book of Revelation, and people were, like praying to the beast and bowing down to it, and the people that were there were talking about, we don't want the old order, we want the new world order, and um, just, it was just crazy. It was crazy, and I'm going to link it in the description box so you guys can click on it and go watch it but i'm telling you y'all the devil is not playing no games like it's right in your face y'all this hair who i'm waiting for tuesday i cannot wait to get my natural hair back like i love this style i want to do something different you know especially since the summer and so i mean it's been good as far as not having to worry about like doing my hair and stuff but y'all i'm so ready to get my natural hair back like tuesday can't get here fast enough <laughs> i'm so ready for my natural hair but anyway, like what I was saying, I just got distracted for a minute, but the devil is literally just putting stuff right in your face. It's right in our faces. And a lot of people, Christians, don't see it. They do not see it. And they just, y'all, they're just so blind. And it's like, you're, a lot of people, their spiritual eyes aren't open. They don't have discernment. So maybe they, they really can't see it. You know, God said on the, end, the last, you know, in the end days, he's going to send, you know, a strong delusion. And, you know, he's blinded the eyes of people and stuff like that. So, I mean, a lot of people probably can't see it. But it is literally in your face. Like, the devil is not playing games and he is not hiding. Like, it's, it's seriously like a praying time. Like, you are really going to have to make sure that you're solid in Christ because they're really going to make it hard for Christians. Like, I saw something on Instagram where somebody from the Alphabet community was um, telling some guy, like, you know, I can't even say it because <laughs> YouTube probably take this video down. I can't even say what he said. Okay, that's how bad it was. But, yeah, like, I'm telling you just if you're not rooted in Christ you are not gonna make it that's all I know you ain't gonna make it and you're not gonna make it so just make sure that you are really rooted in Christ and your relationship is solid because y'all it's about to get serious it is really about to get serious but anyway y'all I'm rambling so let me get off here I hope that somebody got something out of this video um but anyway y'all I will talk to you guys later have a great day and awesome weekend bye